So news reports reveal that cases of chikungunya have also been spotted in Nevada, Arizona, even here in Ooh, California. Man, Ooh, it's coming. So let me explain this. This is transmitted by the Aedes aegypti mosquito. It's a daytime mosquito, so you can get bit by this thing any single time of the day or night. Oh. Now, what it does is obviously, when it comes in, grabs some of your blood, it transmits the virus into your bloodstream. Your initial symptoms are much like that of the regular flu. You might start to develop fever, joint pain, and as the virus spreads throughout your body, you feel terrible. Joint pains throughout your body, your hands, your feet. You can develop GI upset in addition to severe headaches. Oh, man. But the biggest thing, I mean, luckily it's not life-threatening in otherwise healthy people, but the biggest thing is you are literally doubled over in pain. Mm. The pain is so severe. That's why chikungunya, as you see in that animation there, it actually stands, or it actually stands for to be contorted. Oh, Because you're wow. doubled oh, over in so pain much pain. And contorted. Now, they, they first isolated this virus in 2013 in the Caribbean. And so I think for a while, everyone thought, well, you know, it's not going to really affect us. But keep in mind, we all travel to the Caribbean mm -hmm. on vacation. And one thing that I notice people don't bring is off. <laughs> yeah. Or like some bug form repellent. of deep yeah, yeah. bug repellent when you're traveling. OK, so we all know that the world is getting warmer. Yes. The states are getting warmer. And these otherwise known as tropical illnesses are migrating north. It scares me a little bit. I'm so happy that this is not a lethal virus. Right. Yeah. Painful, but not lethal. There's no treatment for it. But when you start talking about as these migrate north, and we're so, somewhat naive to these things, oh, man. you know, we're going to yeah. start seeing other tropical illnesses, malaria, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah right. Nile fever, right. encephalitis, yeah. equine fever, all these yeah. are so-called tropical diseases that you see more in the Caribbean or South America. They're going to slowly creep north, though. So what's going to happen? You're going to go on vacation in Florida and be like, oh, did you take your anti-malarial <laughs> screw? I mean, this, yeah, is, right. this is a potentially huge Nuts. deal. Yeah. When we start going on vacation or people who live in those parts of the country, when they start getting more and more of these severe tropical illnesses, I think our, our country is going to wake up mm -hmm. and realize that, you know, when I, when I start talking about climate change, one of the reasons I get passionate is because... Look, regardless of how you feel about it, it changes illness in this country. Oh, for sure, it changes yeah. mm -hmm. the types of diseases that we're exposed to. And so sometimes I try to get people fired up. It, it, look, if, if you don't want to acknowledge that the climate is changing, that's fine. But if we start seeing people dying from these types of illnesses, I think it's going to change the conversation. Oh, well, and, and you have to start thinking more about using DEET and keeping yourself covered yes. uh, in the early evening when you know the mosquitoes are coming out and dealing with standing water because we know that's mm -hmm. where standing mosquitoes water. breed. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. This mosquito can breed in a tablespoon of water. Uh -huh. So if you have one little area out in your backyard, a that tablespoon. Is, right. That's nothing. Yeah. That is nothing. That, they just eat like the children's thimble. pool, right. you know, or you have your Frisbee out and it rains, mm -hmm. and then it collects yeah. from the Frisbee, and that's a, that's a breeding ground for mosquitoes. So be aware, right? Be Make aware. sure that there's no holes in, in your window screens. Mm -hmm. Wear long, as much as you can, breathable, long clothing. Don't give those mosquitoes access. When you're That's outside, yeah. citronella candles, yeah, yeah. those new little fans that work to kind of spread sure. the off around you. And that, that, really long, that long yourself. sleeve clothing is good for sun protection, too, anyways, while you're in the tropics, so That's why not? That's good. That's great. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.